Welcome back to our channel. Today, Ali and I are going to be taking you through a day in the life as Epic teachers living in rural Korea. And next week, Henry will have a video focused on Seoul for you. We're gonna be posting more teaching content, more Korea content, and of course, more K-pop content on our channel in the future. So if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, like this video, and let's get started. It is right now 8.10, which is the time I always say I'm going to leave. I like to make it to school by 8.30 and if I leave at 8.15, I get there by like 8.35, which is still early, but I want to be there early, early. Beautiful car that still needs a name. Name suggestions in the comments. Its Korean name is Alvante because it's an Avante and I'm Ali. Ooh. It's about 8.10 right now. It's time for a quick breakfast. I have to be at work every day at 8.40, so I usually just make a yogurt bowl before I go to school. So I'm going to eat this and then head out. That's where you find the magic Easy to disbelieve it Difficult to imagine Okay, I kind of have to work right now They're doing a lot of construction So sorry if it's really loud But if you are placed in a rural area You most likely will teach at more than one school So on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I can walk to work But on Tuesday and Thursday I'm at my second school And I have to take the bus As you can see In the literal mountains and for that, I'm happy. It's time for even cooler shoes. <laughs> yes. In my classroom, I always go over and check my schedule and see what I have to do today in case I forgot, because I often forget. Now, grade six asked for a schedule change, so no grade six today. I only have grade four. And then I have grade one after school, which is from one to 140. And then I have sixth grade after school, but they don't come which is honestly a blessing because I just chill. I have made it to school and it's around like 9.30 right now. So on Mondays, I don't have any classes first block. I start at 10.50 and I only teach two classes on Mondays. So this is different for everybody. Some people have like four classes in a day, which I do on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I teach every grade and some people might only have one or two. So Monday is just one of those days. I only teach two grades. Both classes are 80 minutes, so when I get to school, I usually just make a little coffee, which I forgot to bring mine today, so I had to use the teachers from coffee, which isn't that good, but it's fine. And then I'm going to watch some Netflix because I've been teaching at this school for two years now, so I have all of my lessons from last year, so lesson planning is really easy for me, and I'm like totally done um, a week ahead of time. So I don't really have anything to do when I'm not teaching. So I'm gonna do some Korean study um, and watch Duna on Netflix. It's so good, I highly recommend. Another thing to know is that I do have my own classroom and own office. So I don't have to share with anyone else. And when it's time for English, all of my kids come to me, which is not the case for every teacher. But if you live rural, it's more likely that you will have your own space, whether it's like a mini office or your entire classroom that you can work from. I brought ramen for breakfast today because I'm feeling a little wild. Usually I either have like a random fruit or I don't have breakfast because I always forget. But today running at the door, I grabbed a ramen. And when we were, when we were in, English teacher training quarantine, they gave us this ramen for breakfast. So it sort of feels like a breakfast food to me, even though it's not. So I'm gonna go make that now too. So I'm here watching Off My Face, Face on Cover, like I often am. And one of my grade sixes just comes and goes, teacher, why aren't you coming to class? Which I have X'd out for today because their teacher asked me to change it to a different day, which always happens. It happens all the time. And I was like, um, cause you have no class today. It was changed. She was like, really? Oh, okay, okay, okay. And went out and I was like, I always second guess myself. So I went through my messages. He asked me on August 24th, August 24th to change a bunch of dates in September and October. And he asked me to change today, October the 24th to Friday, October the 27th, which is what I have in my schedule. Bless you. Bless you. Oh. 
Hey guys, it's Sydney. I'm just going to be popping in with a quick voiceover to explain some more stuff. First of all, this is just me starting up my Netflix and then I decided I should set up my classroom for today. If you have your own office or classroom, you are in charge of keeping it clean. So I'm just wiping down all the desks and then setting up for my fifth graders. There's only six of them, so it's not that hard. And they are working on how much is it right now. So last class we started a speaking practice and I was just getting all their papers out so we can finish it today. And my book is on my computer. It comes with a CD that you can download and it has a ton of great resources. I can download like tests and worksheets for them. And here I am just printing those out. And then one of my fifth graders came in and drew this cute bunny on my board and told me not to erase it. Now it is time for lunch. So most schools you'll eat lunch around 12 o'clock. This could definitely be different if you're working in a bigger school, but obviously Allie and I are rural, so our grades are pretty small. My biggest class is 19 students and that's like the whole entire fifth grade. I don't have multiple fifth grade classes or anything. And as you can see, we eat lunch with our students. <laughs> A kangaroo. Kangaroo. Mm, same. Mm. Kangaroo, yongo. Yo. Sasum. Onsuni? Eh. Teacher, Tonze. Oh. Tomba? Tomba? I don't know. Where are you? Tomba. Ah, Tomba. Ah, ah, ah. Tomba. The lunch also was busted. I'm sure you saw. Fried chicken. Bungapang. Oi kimchi, which is my favorite thing on the actual earth. Normal kimchi, pink rice. They knew I was coming. They said, Ali's filming today. Let's give an Ali lunch. Also, look at this thing on my laptop that one of my students drew. It's of me when my hair used to look like that. Meanwhile, I'm setting up for my last class of the day, which is third grade. I was in the middle of printing out these story time worksheets for them when my friend sent me a Snapchat video from the In Hype and concert in Chicago. I miss them so much. So let's just listen to Shakan for a minute. <laughs> Good, he's my brother. He's my grandpa. He's my dad. He's my brother. She's my sister. This is the aftermath of my third grade class. Honestly, it's usually way worse because they're kind of chaotic. So I'm unwinding with a little and hype and weavers live and these gummies that are definitely expired. Um, they were kind of hard, but it's fine. They're so cute and hype and I love you. I'm busy making my after school class for grade one because I have them at one. It's 1240 now. I always leave their class until right before I do it. Why? I love to stress myself out. Last time we did shapes, so I think we're gonna do shapes part two. I love my kids, but they always wanna come in when I'm... Hi. Hey. All right, it is 2.45. I'm finally done teaching for today. Like half of my third graders were out sick. So third grade is actually not as bad as it usually is. Usually they are very loud and running around, which they did today, but there was less of them, so it was fine. That's the one downside, I think, about having your own room is that a lot of times the home room teachers do not come to class, um, which technically they're supposed to, but they don't, and it's fine because they're busy, they have things to do too, but it definitely makes it way harder to manage a big class, especially the younger ones, and my third graders are 17. And so when they're all together, and because third graders are first year of taking English, so they don't know it yet, it gets hard to 
keep them focused on one thing. So Mondays are my least favorite days for more than one reason, but it is over now. I have two hours until I can go home. So I'm going to lesson plan for the classes that I just finished. I'm just gonna make sure that I have the next lesson ready to go. And then I'm gonna watch some more YouTube or something. I don't know. Okay, okay. Para bata, you know. What? Three. <laughs> Three, okay. Three. <laughs> What's the color? Orange. One more time. Orange. One more time, music class. Orange. Orange. Nice. Where is fun? You know, toy soup. One, two, three. Three? Okay. Super, super, super. Ah. Kintana. What's the color? Yeah, one more is the class green. green. Great. Three. Oh, don't get Don't get Don't get Don't Don't get Don't get Don't get Time to edit the video for today. It's my kids vlog. Let's go. Okay, I got some work done. It is now 4.35. We're gonna go to a cafe. See you there. Like Ali said, it's time to leave for the day, but instead of going home, I'm actually going right to the gym because where I live, there is no gym or grocery store or anything near me. So I actually take a bus straight from school to get there. Even for my second school, I still have to get back on the bus. It's just a little bit of a shorter trip. And at least there's a pretty view. It kind of still smells like someone else's car in here. So my goal for this weekend, other than celebrating Christine's birthday, whoop whoop, is to get a car freshener of some type. I'm gonna go home, quickly change, because I don't really want to wear this to the cafe, because I'm gonna be sitting there for a long time. Every second on the block is obsessed. Just saw that video of Jake lifting his shirt up again. <sighs> I'm no better than a man. I am no better than a man. <sighs> I ended up a little bit wilding out and getting something I don't normally get because I was feeling a little bit like it's fall. So I got myself a hot chamomile tea and I got a blueberry pie. And I got a long sausage. It was called a long sausage. It was like a pizza bread sausage. Looked really good. Now here's Allie enjoying her food while she edits her Stray Kids vlog. Go watch it. And I'm at the gym. I can only work out for about an hour because of the bus schedule and I don't want to get home super late. So I just do cardio and weights. And then I also had to stop at the grocery store because I have no food in my house and there's not one near me. And then it takes me about 30 minutes to get home. All right, you guys, I am finally home. I just ate dinner. I'm gonna take a shower and pretty much just chill for the rest of the night. Okay, I'm fully exhausted, but the video is uploading. I'm gonna wash my face, eat another snack, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. <sighs> Tomorrow's sports day. For the adults, it's teacher sports day. Why we even have that, I don't literally know. That was pretty much my day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed mine and Sydney's days. If you guys want to see how someone in Seoul lives, make sure you stay tuned for Henry's video next Tuesday. And if you have any questions for the three of us, drop them in the comments below. We will answer as many as we can. Good night, everybody. Love you. Stay soulmates. And we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good night and I will see you next Friday. I'm not where I am. And I didn't want to feel this way Try to be an out of place Give me a one-way ticket out of here